Hello friends. In this video, we will learn how to use pipette. This is a pipette. Make sure the ends are smooth. Can I use my mouth to suck in the chemicals? Do I need to take the last drop from the pipette? When you hold the bulb of the pipette, you will get the last drop. But you don't have to take this last drop. Can I put the pipette directly into the standard measuring flask? When you see this portion, it's narrow and water will come quickly to the bulb of the pipette. In here, the water will rise slowly. Once it reaches here, the water will come up faster once again. You need to be careful as the water may enter the rubber bulb. This is the calibration mark. If you are right-handed person, then press the rubber bulb with the help of your left hand and hold the pipette in such a way that your index finger can immediately cover the tip of the pipette so that the water may not flow back. For washing pot, you can take this much amount of water. Now tilt it a bit and rotate it in this way. Make sure the water is touching above the calibration mark. Drain the water this way. After this, you need to rinse the pipe in. For the rinsing part, use the solution which will be taken in the pipe in. Repeat the same steps as done for washing. Do it for 2-3 to three times. Now the pipette is ready to be used. Press the rubber bulb, place it onto the pipette and let the solution flow in. Once the solution comes above the calibration mark, remove the rubber bulb and place the index finger on it. Now you need to adjust the lower meniscus on the calibration mark. It requires a lot of practice to master this technique. Check at the tip of the pipette. If you have a drop hanging at the tip of the pipette, just touch it to the wall of the beaker and you are ready to transfer this to the conical flask and proceed as required by your particular procedure.